Be curious, not judgmental. Oh my gosh, if you haven't seen Ted Lasso yet, I admit I was a little slow to watch it myself, but I heard from enough people who understand my love for inspiring business owners to be kick-ass bosses and to manage teams in a way that lets everyone be successful. Have you seen Ted Lasso yet, Talmar? Have you seen it? Oh, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. Damn it, y'all were right. It was a great show. I loved it. Oh, binge watched it. Made the whole family watch it. It was so good. But today, I just want to share a concept that will really set you up to be a successful boss. Be curious, not judgmental. And we're going to specifically talk about a management concept, right? In a moment of nervousness and vulnerability, an employee has come to you and has said they're unhappy, dissatisfied, or even been accusatory. And they use a big, scary word to get your attention. They might say something like, I believe that we are acting in an unethical manner and I don't want to do XYZ assignment anymore. And certainly you're hearing the word unethical is going to put any logical, smart, scary, risk adverse, and yet trying hard boss on your toes. You're going to be, or rather on your heels, you're going to be surprised and shocked and want to go into defense mechanism and want to say, absolutely not. This is, we would never be unethical. Instead, I want to challenge you to get curious. Why do you say that? What does unethical mean to you? What specifically has occurred or is occurring or do you worry will occur if you are given this assignment? And helping today's labor, wonderful people, the staff, your employees, better understand the words they use oftentimes are not being used correctly. So we don't want to dissuade it because certainly if there is something unethical in your business, you need to know about it. And I would even challenge that there's value in understanding the perception of the employee sitting across from you that's using the word unethical. So before you jump to what you understand is your definition, you need to ask them for their very specific definition. Are they just saying, I don't like XYZ assignment and I don't want to do it? Do they understand what unethical means? And asking them for their definition, right? They might just be using the wrong word. And so we can take a deep breath and better help them understand. Maybe you mean this other definition or this other word. And regardless if what they're trying to say is, I don't want to do that part of my job, you will have a decision to make a clarity of, well, this is required in the job. And as we've discussed, unethical is not the issue. If you just don't want to do it and it doesn't feel like a job you want, it's okay to tell me this is your two weeks notice. Yeah. If they don't want to do the job, it's okay to let them go. But don't let the words that they bring into you, let you jump to, they're going to sue me. I'm going to be ruined. My company is going down because everyone's going to talk about how I'm unethical. And of course, there are defensive moves that you need to consider on the off chance that this person is malicious and planning some kind of attack on you and your company. And I know that sounds really scary and it can be a little bit scary, but the truth is if you know you are not practicing in an unethical manner, it's okay to assume that they're just using the word differently. Assume that you are doing everything right. Do not assume that they are correct and that they would have a case against you. Be curious. Don't judge them. Don't judge that this situation is going to all end up burning us all down. It may not be that bad, but we have to, as a boss that knows that we're not unethical, be willing to have the conversation and hold them accountable to the words they're using. We do have to ask them, what 
do you mean by that? What are you trying to say? What occurred specifically made you feel uncomfortable? What specifically passed over what ethic? Where Where is that line for you and what is it? And it may be that the way you are practicing is something they don't agree with, but that doesn't mean that they're right. It's unethical. They might just be deciding this is not the job for them. Now, I picked a pretty big word to use in our example, and I understand that most times somebody will come and say something to the effect of, uh, this makes me feel uncomfortable, and you do need to walk through what does uncomfortable feel like? What does that mean? How? What is somebody doing to create the feeling of you being uncomfortable? And it's not that you're questioning that they're uncomfortable. We will allow for that but we need to know what action, what words, what situation, so we can understand, can we mitigate it? Is it something viable that we have to think about a changing in our business? Or is this a situation where a person is using words to put you on your heels and make you doubt yourself? Get curious, because maybe there is something to change. But oftentimes, what you're going to find out is that they just don't want to do the job, and they're using words they've heard elsewhere. It's okay to just say, is it that you just don't want to do this anymore? That this isn't the job for you? I know. It's a weird world. Words are so powerful. But most of that power comes from the meaning we assign to it. So I want you to start taking a breath when you hear a word and get curious. It sure worked for Ted Lasso and that team. I bet it could work for you and your team. All right. Awesome.